Hey nigga. discussion of flipping sleep paralysis I thought nah I gotta speak on it I gotta tell my story and tell you like maybe you can distinguish if you're having it too because it's actually it's no joke it's in Brighton so like me and my friend we were going to stay with her sister there so yeah we slept over I was in the living room so far so all of a sudden I'm hearing this screeching noise in my ears and when I tell you I thought I was going to go deaf my hearing <laughs> I thought I would never hear anything again so at that point and it just got the screeching got louder so when it happened in Brighton it was a minor and I just thought oh maybe it was like a lorry from outside but then the screeching felt like it was inside my ears so I'm thinking it was like a year later I had it again one night and because uh, I was a little girl I was a little girl so um, when it was happening I was scared the fuck I was scared I was sleeping and like all of a sudden like I couldn't move I was trying to escape the bed I don't know why I was, why I was trying to move to but I couldn't move I tried to move I, I all I could do was open my eyes and bitch when I opened my eyes I saw a black figure flying across the ceiling and I was thinking <laughs> <What's that? laughs> what was that what was that? I closed my eyes I closed them but I was Stevie Wonder in this bitch at that moment. I closed my eyes. I was not prepared to see something else flying around my room or something coming from the walls. No, no, sir. So, yeah, the same screeching noise that I was hearing in Brighton, it was happening that night as well. Like, I was just hearing, like, I was just hearing it get louder and louder. And I was thinking, oh, oh shit, oh, shit. What's happening? Like, I wasn't excited. I may have just been a little bit, a little bit excited then, but at that moment I was not excited. I didn't really understand what was going on. Something was laying on my chest. I tried to think of all the things like recently I could have done for this to happen to me. Cause I think I'm a decent person. I think I'm pretty okay in this world of evil. I was thinking, what did I do? And I got a small chest. So can you imagine this thing? I don't know if it was a thing. I wasn't about to open my eyes back up to see what the hell was on my chest. Because I wasn't looking there. But I could feel something on my chest. And it was getting heavier. I don't want my body to be remembered in two. Like I thought my chest was going to snap. The way I was laying down. I, so I was laying. I was like twitching my I was trying to move my ligaments but they were not ooh, ligaments bitch I could just open my eyes that's how I knew I was I was awake in this bitch I remember I didn't go to school the next day cuz I think I was crying I was crying I was I was okay I was crying and what <laughs> I just stayed home the whole day cuz like, I kind of moved the whole thing my mom it was very traumatic. Why was I staying in this room? Even walking past the door, I was shook. I go to school the next day, and then I'm telling all my, I'm telling everybody. I'm like, <laughs> you never guess. I didn't know what it was, but I did some research. And okay, so this is what the, fuck. And, but things were telling me demons, and I was like, hey, what? The smile on my face. I'm actually masking my fear. 
me i do not play with demonic forces i don't play with no no i don't play with demon so when i saw that when i was researching i was thinking <laughs> Some evil spirits really trying to get me. First time I was a little girl, I was crying. I had to catch these fists. I was I was prepared. As I, it was happening, I was literally praying to God. The more I resisted, the more I couldn't move. The more the screeching was getting louder. <laughs> and quite frankly, a bitch likes to hit. A couple of days later, it happened again, and I was prepared. Like. I was sleeping and I knew it was it was happening and I was thinking uh uh no way I'm I'm not opening my eyes I know what I saw last time next time I could see myself I don't know or see something else in my room so a bitch was blind <laughs> I was blind that's the only time I I would have not liked my eyes there so I closed them shut I was not gonna open them for nothing this time like. It was weird because it was like I was seeing myself from like above, bird's eye view, third person, I don't know, but I could see myself and I, I remember there was people trying to break into the house, this was in the dream, and I ran to the window and I was trying to shout something at them, I don't know what shouting would do, why I did that. But you know you go dumb. Do you ever get it when you go dumb and you're you're so dumb and you're you're thinking the fuck? Cause you don't realise it's a dream, so you think the fuck I could have changed that shit. What the fuck was I thinking? I was screaming and nothing was coming at my voice, but it was like it was weird that like, yeah, I was just trying to shout, nothing was coming out. And then they came to the letterbox and then that was it. I woke up again and I was shook. And then I woke up and I was okay, so I just went to school thinking, okay, another episode, what's next? It just kept happening over and over and over and over again. And I remember it was broad daylight, like I was awake. It was in the afternoon. I was literally doing nothing and the whole, this wardrobe and this side of the room, all the stuff started shaking, bitch. And I was thinking, I looked at it like you should have seen how far I did the the swift the whole unit was shaking like not not vigorously but it was like a rumbling effect and I was thinking I didn't know what to do. I told my mom about it and when I went to tell my mom she was like it was happening to her too and I was shocked like because she don't believe in none of the she don't believe in anything like paranormal, spiritual. I don't know about spirit. I know she doesn't like ghosts and stuff. None of that. I don't know what that it was, but she said she had it too. And I think this was like around the time my uncle died. More weird things were happening. It was weird. Like pillows were getting chucked at her, but they weren't hitting her. They were like skimming her. And she was. It was happening to her more. I've, I'd say more than me. It was weird, man. And I remember my auntie came to stay with us. She was sleeping in the living room. She said that she could see something coming towards her and she kept praying and it was coming closer. When she told me that, bitch, I've been cautious about this house ever since. Like, I don't think it's haunted. Something's visiting us. Something is trying to play with us. The whole sleep paralysis thing. Now it's the, now I get it so often, it's just annoying. I'll be laying there and I'm thinking, yes, I'm going to get some sleep. So I'm laying there comfortably. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm hearing the screech and I'm like, oh, it, here we go again. I Just let me sleep. Let me sleep. I'm deprived of sleep as it is. And then I'm thinking at this point, I'll just chill out. At this point, imagine myself eating popcorn in my head whilst this is happening to me because it's a movie at this point. It's a movie I keep seeing time and time again. Like, I'm bored now. Next. The whole thing wasn't fun. It was not fun. No, sir. I had to just get over that. But I'm here. I'm with us and I'm breathing and I'm thanking the Lord for another day. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Ain't no demon gonna take me. <laughs> no sir. Still in this bitch. Next, whatever the hell you are entity, wanna step to me. 
Girl, I have to post the fuck up. Come for me, I'll come for you too. I got the Lord on my side. And his power is greater than yours. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get all my forces. I'm ready. I'm literally ready now. That's why I feel like it's calmed down a bit. Because it knows I'm not scared anymore. I'm not that same girl anymore. I have progressed. And I'm still here. I think it even happened the other week, but now it's just like, okay. I would sleep and it would happen again. I'll go to sleep again and it would happen, but now I'll go to sleep and it'll happen and I'll go to sleep again and it won't happen. So it only happens once in the night, so. Uh, for all those people that open their eyes, uh, are you okay? Is everything okay at home? Like, I know better. Us people need to be smarter, why the, you know what's coming. Okay, the first time, I'll let that slide. But the second time, bitch, she did that to damn self. You know what's coming, so you better Stevie Wonder in this bitch. Mm-hmm. So, that's what happened, yeah. Man, at least I'm living to tell you the tale. I, I'm living here. That, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.